Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Friday. We got 10 races we want to get to. Our buddy Pete Aiello's got the track and weather conditions. The Friday card begins with beautiful weather conditions for horse racing. Temperatures in the low 80s, a partly cloudy sky, fast main track, and a firm turf course. We dodged some significant rain throughout the afternoon. First of the day over the main track at one mile, maiden claimers in for a price tag of $35,000. Scratch the seven, Boca Royalty, a field of six. Favorites included the one, Golden Alina, and the six, Mystic Magnolia. Racing at Gulfstream. Moving up toward the inside, Golden Alina begins for the lead with Dixie Princess and Mystic Magnolia making her move on the outside, and she's going to make it a contestious early pace as they link up with the main course. Nick Juarez and puts Golden Alina on the engine here, and she leads the way by a half a length. Dixie Princess will flank the leader while second Mystic Magnolia settles in third. Treasure Time on the outside is now fourth as they start to converge a bit on the leader. At the outside, it's Sunfest and toward the rail, Black Wind through the opening quarter in 24 and 2. They speed to the 5 8 point, and Golden Alina has the inside edge with Mystic Magnolia up alongside. Jaramillo took back the third horse, Dixie Princess, to race a length and a half off the pace setters. In fourth is Treasure Time. Sunfest is second last under Jose Bautista and about four and a half lengths off the lead, and the trailer is Black Win. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn through a 47 and four half mile. It's Golden Alina who has the lead by a neck, but Mystic Magnolia looms up alongside second Dixie Princess third. First to be worked on is Treasure Time from Force, then Sunfest and Black Win, five sixteenths away. Golden Alina on the inside, Mystic Magnolia on the outside. These two begin to sprint and they kick four lengths clear of Dixie Princess third. Back to fourth and Sunfest who's a bit wide as they run to the top of the stretch. After three quarters and 113 flat, Mystic Magnolia Magnolia overhauls Golden Alina and opens now by two. From the outside, Dixie Princess is trying to run on late. Late run from Black Wind with Sunfest. To the final furlong, Mystic Magnolia with a three-length lead. Back to second, here comes a run from Dixie Princess to try to catch Golden Alina, but it's Mystic Magnolia for the Gabriels to win it by two in the end. Up for second was Dixie Princess. Third was Golden Alina. Black Wind ran fourth in 139 and four. Trainer Leo Gabriel Jr. is back in South Florida for another summer season, and his horses are ones to watch out for as number six, Mystic Magnolia, makes her South Florida return a winning one under Luca Panici for trainer Leo Gabriel Jr. and owners Jay and Joan Johnson. We move now to the second race of the afternoon. It was the Friday feature stakes event here. The Cedar Key overnight stakes, five furlongs on turf for three-year-old fillies. Scratch the one, Catharsis, a field of five. The favorite was the six, Miss Mayhem. Racing in the Cedar Key Stakes. From the center, Roses in the south bounces out to get the first call, but the favorite, Miss Mayhem, is on the attack, and these two fly. They like open a length and a half on Really Proud, who's out of their third, then Crazy for Sophia, and the back marker early is Aldwood Lane. They speed to the half-mile point, and on the inside, Roses in the south to the outside, Miss Mayhem. They're locked in battle, heads apart. From third and Really Proud with an inside lane. To the outside, it's Crazy for Sophia, and Aldwood Lane kept close enough by jockey Nick Juarez, four and a half lengths off the speed to the opening quarter in 20. 21 flat. They run to the top of the stretch. Miss Mayhem on the outside. Roses in the south. Battles on toward the inside. Two back to really proud. Then Aldwood Lane. And they're off the turn. They're in the stretch drive. Miss Mayhem has now overhauled a game. Roses in the south is trying to box on second. Aldwood Lane with the late run from between horses. In deep stretch, it's Miss Mayhem in front. Aldwood Lane takes another run toward the inside, but Miss Mayhem too much. Miss Mayhem won. A length and a half in the end from Aldwood Lane second, then really proud and crazy for Sophia. Number six, Miss Mayhem has been unstoppable lately and the train rolls on to a new stop as she registers a stakes Cali here today under jockey Edgar Zayas for trainer Eddie Plisa Jr. and owner and breeder Lori Plisa. Second two, Old Wood Lane ahead of the three, really proud, who ran third. Time for commercial timeout. When we come back, the Friday card rolls on. Don't go away.
Back now for race number three on the program at six furlongs over the main track. Claimers in for a price tag of $30,000. Scratch the three, Squadron, rider change on six, Clemson and Watson to Alvaro Donis. The field of six, the favorite was the four, Players Luck. And they're off. Missing the start entirely was Clemson and Watson. Good start out wide for Tenacity Zip, who's going to try to get the punch on the favorite player's luck, and he'll do it as her jockey Edgar Zayas has to angle player's luck into the two-path to race on from second. My friend Flavin comes away racing in third ahead of Color Me Pom Pom, who's now fourth. Kinientos is fifth, and the stablemate Clemson and Watson is last of all with half a mile to run. Tenacity Zip has a narrow lead. On the outside, Player's Luck is there second. My friend Flavin is waiting for his cue to go on. He's now racing third for Panici, keeping him bracketed in as Color Me Pom Pom. Two back to Kinientos and three clear of Clemson and Watson as they run to the top of the stretch. Player's Luck bids up on the outside of Tenacity Zip. Four wide, Color Me Pom Pom. Three wide, my friend Flavin still in the hunt here. Four better than Kinientos with a quarter of a mile left to go. Player's Luck has the lead. My friend Flavin issues the challenge on the outside second. And Tenacity Zip is back to third with three sixteenths to go. Players Luck kicks on, but so does my friend Flavin. And my friend Flavin and Luca Panici stride to a clear lead. Players Luck is back to second. Color Me Pom Pom is third. Here's win two for the Leo Gabriel barn. Here's my friend Flavin and Panici to win at a length and a half. Players Luck second. Third was Color Me Pom Pom and fourth was Kiniento. Leo Gabriel Jr. strikes again for his second winner of the day as number one, my friend Flavin, kicks it into another gear and gives Luca Panici his second winner as well. Louisiana bred veteran by Forestry is owned by Robbins Family Racing. We move now to today's fourth race at five furlongs over the turf. Maiden claimers in for 12,500. Edgar Zayas on five, Magnificent Promise. Jose Alonzo on number seven, Stun. A field of eight. The off-time favorite was number eight, Southern Sea. And they're off. From the far outside, Southern Sea catches a flyer off the break and moves to the front. Three parts of a length over Grand Malbec, who races from second. At the rail, 271 is in tight while having to settle third with Knucklehead moving up. Far outside, Stun with Magnificent Promise, then Miss Patty between horses. And the back marker is Our Dreams Fly. They pass the half mile and move to the far turn. Southern Sea gets the trip he wants. Leads the way a length and a quarter. Knucklehead up into second. Back to third. Grand Malbec. Then comes Stun. 271 awaits racing room to the inside of Miss Patty. Getting underway as our dreams fly and magnificent promises last as they converge on Southern Sea. Southern Sea to the top of the stretch still has the lead. Forcing wide here is Grand Malbec as far outside Knucklehead was floated out. 271 is next. Running home as our dreams fly. Eighth of a mile to go. Southern Sea strong up top. Southern Southern Sea leads the way now by two and a half. Grand Malbec is second. Late run from our dreams fly, but this was over at the start. Southern Sea all the way. Grand Malbec was second, 271 third. Our dreams fly, finished fourth. Number eight, Southern Sea got a very alert beginning from an outside draw, secured the lead going around the far turn and turned out the lights by the time they got to the quarter pole. As Miguel Vasquez throttled down the son of Cantharos for a maiden score for trainer Eduardo Esperoa Jr. and owner and breeder David Romanek. We moved out of the fifth race and start today's Rainbow Six. More than three quarters of a million dollars in the Rainbow Six. And two-year-olds take kicked off the sequence at four and a half furlongs. Rider change on eight, Golden Lion of to Jose Alonso. A field of eight. Favorite was number five, Sambaye. And they're off. From between horses, Cajun Embers gets the first call. Sent hard as Ray oh My King to try to save the inside spot. Up on the outside, there goes Big Bud. And Big Bud now challenges Ray oh My King, who does have the inside edge. Cajun Embers will have to take up and go around from third. Three better than Sombaye. The favorite is away in fourth. Down inside, it's about the time girl, who's down at the rail fifth and about five lengths off the lead. Then it's a gap of four to Golden I Love, ahead of Chinomato, and at the back, Secretario. They run around the far turn through the opening quarter in 21 and four. There's less than three eighths to go. With the advantage, Big Bud, Cajun Embers comes to call. Sombaye set loose on the outside by Gaffleone, and Sombaye ran by them all now as they turn for home. It's Sombaye shifting ground, but kicking clear. Back to second, Cajun Embers trying to outfinish Big, uh, Big Bud. Then fourth is Rayo, my king, but here's a sharp debut from Sombaye for Starlight Racing and Todd Pletcher. They won it easy by five in the end. Cajun Embers was second, Big Bud was third, fourth was It's About Time Girl, ahead of Rayo My King in 53 flat.
While trainer Wesley Ward may be dominating the two-year-old races in Kentucky, but Todd Pletcher continues to dominate the two-year-old races in South Florida as his uh, horse number five, Sambaye, with a very impressive run, making a sustained move from mid-flight in a two-year-old race. Never an easy thing to do. The son of Into Mischief kicked away under Tyler Gaffleone for Starlight Racing. Three Cajun Embers with second ahead of the six, Big Bud, who ran third. Back now for race number six on the card on the turf at a mile and a 16th. Claimer's in for a price tag of 12,500. Scratch the four inside trip. Joseph Berrios rides number seven, Taco Wayne Shot. Heavily favored, number five, Sympathetic. And they're off. From the far outside, she's a great one with a very alert beginning, and she'll establish the lead and the rail as they pass the wire the first time from the big favorite, Sympathetic, who takes up the slack to race second. In between horses, it's Charming Kid with Freckle to Freck along the rail. Sent wide to the first turn is Sarah's Day. Miss Americon saves ground, and Taco Wayne's shot is last of all as they charge into that first turn. Up front, it's She's a Great One. In front, the length and a quarter. Sympathetic second, Freckle to Freck third. Charming Kid has now moved to be fourth ahead of an inside running Miss Americon. Then back to Sarah's Day and Taco Wayne shot. Ordinary pace being set as they roll into the backstretch. It's the Texas bred. She's a great one in front by a length. On the outside, Sympathetic is second. Three wide, Charming Kid is third. At the rail, Freckle to Freck gets a great spot fourth behind the speed under Jose Bautista. Racing up on the far outside, Sarah's day is hung five wide. Just to her inside, Miss Americon, and the trailer is Taco Wayne's shot. 51 seconds for a posted half mile speed with less than half a mile to go. The advantage to She's a Great One, Sympathetics just grinding away on the outside second. Freckle to Freck is third, Charming Kid is now fourth. Back to fifth in Sarah's day, Miss Americon tries to play catch up toward the rail and Taco Wayne's shot is asked to get closer by Berrios, last of all, as they now take closer order. Three quarters, 114 and four, and they arrive at the top of the stretch. Edgar Zayas has not moved his hands and Sympathetic has the lead. She's a Great One battle on second, Freckle to Freck third, Miss Americon fourth, with now less than three sixteenths to run. Now there's an eighth of a mile to run, and the leader is Sympathetic, and she's very confidently handled, and she should be, as she's much the best here. Sympathetic kicks away to win it, and win it as much as she wants. It's going to be Freckle to Freck getting second. She's a great one third, Miss Americon fourth, and then Taco Wayne shot. Two legs into today's Rainbow Six and two favorites to report home as number five, Sympathetic, gets an easy victory off the claim for trainer Angel Rodriguez. And jockey Edgar Zayas notches his second winner of the day. This one for Frank Calabrese. Second, number three, Freckle to Freck. Third was number eight, She's a Great One. We move now to the seventh race of the afternoon and start the late pick four, six furlongs of the journey. Starter allowance optional claiming event. Price tag here was $16,000. Scratch number six, Lost for Words. A field of six. Favorite was the four, Social Roy. And they're off. Good start from between horses for Small Fortune. Trev has speed up on the outside, Mr. Kisses. Social Roy away in the top flight. These four work two and a half lengths better than Scam. And at the back door is Nona's boy as they speed to the half mile point. Advantage to long shot Small Fortune and uh, Carlos Montalvo in front by a neck. Trev moves up toward the inside second, two and a half better than Social Roy had driven third. Back to fourth and Mr. Kisses racing fifth is Scam as they whistled a quarter in 21 and four. The back marker is Nona's boy. The Front two, go at it. Trev on the inside, Small Fortune on the outside, and Small Fortune now repels the challenge from Trev, works three ahead of Social Roy third. Scam gets around Mr. Kisses and is into fourth. Back to last is Nona's boy with a quarter of a mile left to go. On front, it's still Small Fortune, but Social Roy comes to call on the outside. Social Roy off the turn, challenges and takes the lead from Small Fortune, who's dead game second. Trev is back to third. Down the center, Scam with Mr. Kisses. Final eighth of a mile, Social Roy has as the lady shifted ground a touch, but he leads it by two and a half. Small Fortune is second. Scam gets to third. Social Roy almost there. Small Fortune wanders to the outside. It's Social Roy to win it. Small Fortune was a game second ahead of Scam third, and Trev finished fourth.
Number four, Social Roy is just a game and tough customer as he registers an off-the-pace score today under Abisael Jaramillo for trainer Oscar Gonzalez and Sen Sinanea Racing Stable. Number three, Small Fortune with second and a great try ahead of the one scam. The veteran by Giants Causeway rallied home to get third. Eighth race of the afternoon is where we go now. The eighth race on the turf at one mile. Scratch the nine and the three. A field of seven. These are allowance optional claiming runners. The off-time favorites included the one, Barica, and the seven, Vendita. And they're off. Level beginning. First to begin is Dark Artist, who's heading off for the early lead, and Dark Artist, with not much pace pressure at all, leads the way and drops over to the fence to be in front by a length. In between horses, Admiral's win now tugs her way into second. Three wide, third is Vendita. Then it's a gap of another two lengths back to a well-settled Conquest dynasty, fourth and toward the rail. Just on her outside and racing in fifth position now as Lantiz. Watch out for the goose there as they round the first turn. Barica's down at the rail, and Aquimini is last of all as they round the first turn. They head into the backstretch now with Dark Artist. In front now, length and a half, Admirals win second. Conquest Dynasty is at the rail third. Vendita is next with Lantiz, then Aquemini, and Barica settle at the back of the group through an opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. They race to the final half mile of the contest. It's Dark Artist and Nick Juarez settled in up top with a length advantage. Admiral's win tugging at Jonathan Gonzalez, racing in second. At the rail in Conquest Dynasty third, Batista works Barica into the two path, but she's in tight on the far outside land tis. Three wide in Vendita, Aquemini last behind a 49 second half mile. Dark Artist still fresh up top. Dark Artist leads the way by a neck on the outside. Admiral's win keeps the pressure on second. Three wide land tis third. Barica's hemmed in traffic. Vendita and Conquest Dynasty are next, and they're at the top of the stretch. It's Dark Artist who wheels for home on top by two. Admiral's win has been chasing the entire trip. Conquest Dynasty, Barica's loose, but time has run out to get to Dark Artist, who was well rationed by Nick Juarez. And here's a seven to one winner, Dark Artist. Gate to wire, on the wire by three and a half. Conquest Dynasty was second close for third. Barica or Admiral's win in 136 flat. Upset winner of today's eighth race at seven to one. Give it to number six, Dark Artist, who secured inside position and a comfortable lead. Nick Juarez rationed the daughter of Painter Speed perfectly. Gets the score for a red-hot Jane Sabelli Shedro and owners Goodwood Racing 8. Second number two, Conquest Dynasty. Third was the four, Admirals win. Time for a commercial timeout. Still to come, the late Daily Double. Allowance race on the main track when we come back right after this. A passion for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm. From the breeding shed to the racetrack. In pursuit of producing the best. Back now for race number nine on the program. Six furlongs over the main track, an allowance optional claiming event. Price tag here, $25,000. Jover Chamafi on five, Queen Roller, scratch the six, Enigmatica, a field of seven in what was a wide open running race. And they're off. Last in, first out, Nola Fashion gets the first call, but there's a host of pursuers, including True Motion, who now sticks her neck in front. From between horses, Queen Roller out the rail. Yes, I'll go. Far outside, Nola Fashion in the three path is Princess Victoria. Then back to the rail, Go Astray out sprinted on her comeback try. She's second last. Working Carol Kay has the best view of the others as they race past the half mile point. The leader is long shot True Motion and Relu Gutierrez. They lead the way around the far turn by two and a half, now by three. Up into second, yes, I'll go. Go astray, going to try to rally from off the speed. She takes third inside of Queen Roller. Then Nola Fashion, Princess Victoria being ridden hard, not getting much of a reply there as Gaff Leone and working Carol Kay at the back of the field through a 22-4 and four opening quarter. There's a quarter of a mile yet left to go. Upset possibility here with True Motion holding on to a narrow advantage. Yes, I'll go, looping up on the outside second. Princess Victoria and working Carol Kay third and fourth. Nola Fashion on the outside as yes, I'll go, stride to a clear lead. Yes, I'll go. Yes, she's gone. She wins uh, by at least five. She's still moving away. Yes, I'll go in a jog. Second, True Motion. Third, Princess Victoria. Fourth was working Carol Kay. Then Queen Roller. The very talented daughter of Yes, It's True. Yes, I'll go. Makes her return to the race as a winning one and does it in pretty impressive fashion. Confidently handled every step of the way by Amisa Al Jaramil for Hernandez Racing Club and trainer Armando De La Cerda. 
Second was long shot three, True Motion, ahead of number six, Princess Victoria, who failed to get motivated but had to get up for third as the betting favorite. To the 10th and final race of the day, five furlongs on turf. Claimers in for a price tag of 12500 They've not won two. Scratch the five and scratch the 10. We have a field of eight. The favorite was the seven. Harry's gone gray. And runners away. Good start in the center for Twist Cat Candy and Uncle Mace. They're the first two to begin. Architectural is sent for position. He'll get a good position, too, under Montalvo. Up on the outside, it's Ed's Rocket four across the course. Arpanella backs into a good spot. So does Harry's Gone Gray ahead of Saturato and four to the trailer, Devise. They swing to the far turn. Carlos Montalvo shaking the reins at Architectural to secure the rail run into the far turn, and they do that and lead the way now by a half a length. Here's Harry's Gone Gray. He got inside, and he's all the way up to a contending spot here, although he did just clip heels. Out wide is Arpadella. Widest of all is Edge Rocket as they run to the top of the stretch. Architectural is at a picture perfect trip. We'll see if he can parlay it toward the rail. Harry's gone gray has had a tough luck trip. He's trying to get out from behind the speed. Twist Cat Candy is next. Arpanella's on the outside. Final eighth of a mile. Architectural still there. Harry's gone gray trying to overcome the trouble, and he will. Harry's gone gray, a much the best winner under Nick Juarez to beat Architectural than Twist Cat Candy and Arpanella. Number seven, Harry's Gone Gray, had a nightmare trip as they approached the final eighth of a mile, but jockey Nick Juarez persevered through it, got the son of Insumation some racing room, and he kicked on for the score as much the best horse. Herman Malensky owns and breeds as well as trains. He owns Harry's Gone Gray in partnership with Harry Orgo. Form for results to today's Leap Pick 5 and Rainbow 6 sequence. The Rainbow 6 hit by just about everybody, as we will have a carryover of more than 600,000 into Saturday's card. And that wraps up the Friday action. Remember, right here on Saturday, 12 races. We've got a couple of stakes races on Saturday. The Mia's approval and the power to break. Our first race post for the 12 race card is at 1240 p.m. Boy, you got to be a Gulfstream stream part. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.